put your hand on the piano and just let your imagination take you somewhere. Tamara Anna Chislovska, what is the most sublime moment in Beethoven's works? Matthew, that's very, very easy. Tamara, that is transporting. Do you know what that is? This is the Emperor Concerto. It's the second movement? The beautiful second movement. It's been used just countless times in film. Um, the King's Speech was one film. Picnic at Hanging Rock. Mountain, which was a film I did with the Australian Chamber Orchestra. And played this, this very movement. On um, a mountain. At <laughs> for the film Mountain. <laughs> Um, that was narrated by Willem Dafoe and it just fit perfectly with the story because it's based on this beautiful book Mountains of the Mind which talks about uh, the human desire to somehow conquer these incredible peaks and it seems to just fit Beethoven like a glove because really that was one of his struggles in you know, he was always struggling with uh, the mortal coil and trying to reach for different realms and reach higher. And I think that movement is probably the perfect example of it. How does Beethoven make this sound so dreamy? So throughout the movement you hear a huge amount of resonance. And this is because I'm leaving the pedal right down. So all those notes are going together. If you look inside the piano, you'll see that the dampers are up. When I take the pedal off, dampers come down and the sound suddenly stops. So it's actually this effect, this kind of where the piano becomes harp-like that makes it sound not in sharp focus. It sounds as if it's a beautiful memory. If I didn't have those pedal effects going on, it would sound more like this. So immediately you, you lose this, the mystery of it. He loved to sit in the half light at the piano and just play with a flat hand and play whatever notes came to him. And I've often thought that it must have been in one of these improvisations that he thought of this piece. Also because the notes are right close together. And if you just put your hand on the piano and just let your imagination take you somewhere, leave the pedal down, you can imagine that half light, that twilight, it's a reflective time of the night and Beethoven is just there kind of riffing on this particular, these beautiful notes, this beautiful key and playing whatever comes in his mind. And he's not restraining himself by saying, oh, I have to change key, I have to modulate, I have to have different parts of this piece. He's not thinking about that. He's thinking about 
what is this melody? What is this improvisation? What does my soul tell me? Thanks, Tamara. My pleasure, Matthew. Someone could, could sing it really beautifully. Maybe. Should we demonstrate range. that? What is the most sublime Beethoven? <laughs> <laughs>